I just collected a forbidden item. Zero durability. I'm gonna hold on to that bad boy. I'm not gonna use it, obviously, because he's got nothing left. But I'm gonna hold on to it as a memento from this crazy experience. Anyway, welcome back. Um, I haven't done anything in a while. But that's okay, because that happens. And obviously my skin is a bit different to normal. Um, that's because I got sick of my old one, and then we've gone with like this. So we've got the Infinity Gauntlet, why not, with the Ben 10 Omnitrix in there as well, because I am... <clears throat> yep. Um, and the Winter Soldier arm, if I take off my shield. Boom. And I've got Captain America's... Oh, it? oh there it is. Um, shield on my back, because why not? I feel like there's something else as well. Um, yep, the Ben 10 Albedo jacket, of course. Change the eyes, change the hair. So, yeah. Different all around. But anyway, uh, we are at an area that y'all are currently... Don't know about. Can I hit the hot? Hit the hot? Hit the shot? No. Alright. Second time. Look at that. First try as well. Um, I'm not going to show too much because it's a big spoiler. Oh, okay, it's a big spoiler for what's going to happen. But essentially, I'm at my new jungle base where I'm going to be making a hexagon completely flat. And we know how much, how many trees are in jungles and how unflat the terrain is. So, yeah. It's going to take some work. Well, I mean, it's already taken some work, because I've already done most of it. But you don't know about that yet, so it will take a lot of work, is how I'm going to phrase it. Anyway, even though I haven't recorded an episode and I haven't released anything in quite a while, I think it's been two months or something, that doesn't mean I haven't been on the server grinding. And there's really not that much I can show you around this area, so you get to have a really good look of my nether portal. Oh, that's... We're going to ignore that over there. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the things I've done. I dug a massive 2,000 block nether tunnel, did an old-fashioned hardcore grind for Wither Skeleton Skulls, added a few more paths to the shopping area, added more villager heads to the collection, designed the next wing of the village trading hall in creative, built a witch farm and got a new friend, built a new enderpearl stasis area at the Mushroom Island so people can teleport whenever they want to, if someone's there already of course, hit some pretty impressive MLG waters if you ask me. Like, I'm pretty happy with these ones. They're pretty difficult, pretty complex to do, and yet here we are. Well done, me. And found the very rare blue axolotl, naturally spawned. Okay, jumping through to my creative design world for a second, let's take a look at what I've designed for the walls back over here. This is what I'm thinking. Um, obviously, obviously, massive blackstone focus. Um, the original wall that I was modeling this based off um, is from the second realm that I ever had, and I had a similar design to this. I think it was more, more like that, without the prismarine, of course, just the blackstone, where, with the bland, without all the pistons and all the, the horizontal lines. It was just essentially this, um, and I, it was pretty good for what it was, especially given that I, I'd only returned to Minecraft for a couple of months at that stage, so it wasn't the best thing in the world, but, you know, given my experience, it was not too bad, um, but I've adapted it, and I think I prefer this one a bit, um, I've added pistons and redstone lamps, which are going to be expensive, so it's a good thing we got the witch farm up and going. Um, and I've just modified it a little, and then added the horizontal lines to the side. Um, and on the top, I kind of like, with the anvils, that are going to be very expensive, but we have that insane iron farm, so we're okay. Um, and the soul lanterns might... Might be a bit pricey with the iron as well, so we'll see how we go. We might need another iron farm after we destroy that original one. And these are just some sea lanterns. Wow, I did not expect to break them both. Um, sea lanterns with pressure plates on the top so you can only see just the outline of the blue, which I think is a pretty nice effect. And the real reason why I've got the redstone lamps here is for functionality. Like, I've got this idea for an effect where if I turn that off, they should all, yep, turn on one at a time once it goes night time. Obviously, it's not... It's on the day setting at the moment because it's day now, but if I turn that to night, they'll all turn off one at a time. I might make it faster than that, especially because it's going to be on a massive scale and it'll just take such a long time. So if we set it whoop, to midnight real quick, one at a time, they turn on, and it looks quite nice. And this is what I've come up with for the diagonal. It's not as good. Um, I don't love it quite as much. It hasn't got the same effect, especially given that the piston's going to be on this side, but I don't mind the kind of fading effect, so I will accept it. Um, there's those soles again, looks very nice. The top is different, um, it's trying to be similar as it, as it can, but there is 
the most of the time to be five thick, like it is over there, but there is sixes every third, um, because that's just how the dimensions work, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad, I think it's decent still, um, and the redstone obviously has to be a little different as well, just with Parga blocks to target the redstone where I want it to go, um, but the redstone is a bit iffy, like I'm not sure if it's going to power things the way I want, like if I turn that on now, it worked that time, but on a larger scale with delays and that, I'm not sure if it'll be able to actually power the, the redstone lamps, or if it'll, it'll occasionally power the piston, then the power, then the redstone lamps over here, and then that just ruins the entire wall, so I better keep an eye on that, I might just build on the server, and if it eventually breaks, I might just fix it and redesign it somehow, but we'll see how we go. Alright, and so the redstone for the redstone lamp system is actually really simple, and there'll be a daylight sensor in each of the uh, corner towers, like there, 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 and so on. Um, I'm assuming where the beacon's going to be, if a beacon beam can go through a daylight sensor, I'm not sure if it can or not, but if it can, then that's what's going to happen, and that simply just powers this target block over here, which directs the redstone to either of these um, redstone lamps on the side, so they get powered, and it shouldn't power the pistons on the sides as well. I know that the that one right there should be fine, because there's plenty of blocks below, uh, the same with the side ones, you can't really see it over this side, but like, obviously this piston can't push all those blocks, because that's way way more than the you know, the piston push limit, but the top one, the, sorry, the bottom piston might be able to push up, so what I might have to do is just be strategic about it and put an obsidian block, wow, I'm actually, okay, I must have done that another day without thinking about it, but in the server I might have to do the exact same thing so that then it can't be pushed, so that the pistons, even if somehow they do get powered, which they shouldn't, they just won't push anything, so it should just be the redstone lamps. And from then there's a repeater, which I can just change the delay for, which continues the power, so I don't have to have a bunch of daylight sensors, they, the power just keeps repeating through these repeaters, and that also gives me an opportunity to change the speed at which the next one turns on, so at the moment it's on three ticks, which I think might be what I end up going with, but again, I'm not entirely sure, let's have a look now. It might end up being two ticks, just because this is, what, like, seven repeaters, well, I'm not going to count them, um, uh, but there'll be a total of way more in each of these sides, and it won't be just one looping around the entire time, because that'll look more, more likely than not, it's going to take the entire night to turn them all on, um, but there'll be like one from this end, the starts from this side and that side, so then they kind of meet in the centre-ish, um, is what I'm probably thinking, so yeah, maybe maybe two ticks, even one tick potentially, but we'll have to see how we go with that one. Thank you. 